and my idea of the optimum and the best is inclusive. It's like whatever your spirituality is, you know, most of uh, the heavens are inclusive. They're not islands. So it would be, it would be make a lot of sense that if you lived your life in a certain way, you know, um, that, you know, and you, you, you live to certain standards, they would all be invited to that party. And I look at that in our industry, that, you know, some of the great ones in our industry, and there's way too many for me to list, but even for me to be invited to their party, to this party, it's to me an incredible honor. There's one, I'm not isolated from that. I'm no better than it, for sure. But um, I will say that, that um, I'm proud to be standing beside them. I'm proud to be invited to that party. So I think as we go and we get younger, I mean, or, or as the industry gets younger, I think it's important that we, 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 we stay tethered to them or them to us. So we make a bigger piece of heaven. We make a bigger piece of uh, worth. And we don't try to separate and keep burning down the last bridge. That these guys did this and we do that. And, we, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of changes going on in our industry. One of the things that will be going on right now is, you know, you'll see some amazing millers here and, and uh, you know, people doing uh, amazing things. And I, I hope we all um, find our relationship and support those people. Maybe before we have to start our own. Maybe it's right in front of us, the, the connection that we need. That they, they have the same ethos, the same, the same intensity, and, and we're better together. And, and, and that, that I find is always, always the case. And um, you know, it, it, the competition part of, of, of our industry, you know, like someone that, you know, that uh, we're gonna get a blue ribbon and be better than someone else. I think in, in, in some cases it's made us prepare for things that are singular. You come to my restaurant, you're gonna find anything hanging on the walls of art, you know, that, that people did with love. There's no accolades, there's no nothing. Those are for other people, they're not for me. Whatever, uh, you know, whatever I got, it was, you know, it was I kept my head down, went to work. You know, when I was lucky enough to win a James Beard Award, I didn't even know, I remember my mother had a James Beard Book on Bread book in my house, but I didn't even know what it was. I never did, I never did, you know, uh, an event for them. I never spent a nickel. I never spent a nickel on advertising in my restaurant, ever. I felt if I had to tell you, you know, just like my, when I finally got married, if I, you know, if I had to ask my wife if she loved me, it might not be a good sign. <laughs> so in our industry, when it starts out, you know, things always tell us what they want to be or, or their worth. They'll find that way. They'll find it. And, and I think sometimes we, we want to, you know, we want to, uh, you know, like now, like I said, 31 years in, in, my, in my business, I know our, our product is better than it was 31 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. And not so much because, you know, when people say to me, uh, hey, Chris, you don't, make, you don't make every pizza anymore. I never made every pizza. Even though I physically sit in front of the oven and put it in the, the fiery hole for, you know, 18 straight years, I had a little bit of a health issue that, that it was a blessing to me because it freed me up to gain the perspective. You know, my brother Marco, uh, God bless him, uh, he, he's been making all my dough for the last 20 years. We used to, you know, uh, first 10 years or so, we mix it all by hand in a big, you know, big steel bowl that was tucked in a bottle of an old, you know, uh, uh, garbage bin. Some of you guys, I know Peter Reinhardt actually made uh, dough in that with me one time years ago. And um, uh, I was afraid to, you know, to, to move to a spiral mixer one day. I wanted one, I never could afford one. But uh, when I finally got enough money for it, when I was afraid to change, because, oh my God, I was going to change everything, I handmade it, there was a perception. And then I found out when I finally got it that making things by hand are incredible reference. And I, and I, I, I suggest that everyone gets their hands deep into, you know, to, to any food that they're doing, whether it's whatever. I mean, uh, uh, whether it's making a chicken, uh, uh, you know, probably uh, 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 transitioning one from light to death to plucking it is a, is a revelation. But in, um, in, in anything, I think it's uh, uh, just breaking things down to their, 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 their simplicity and their source. And, and, then we, and then we find out, like, what do we, what do, we do with any of this when we're physically, um, you know, I'm 56 years old now, you know, and uh, I mean, I like to think I still have some gas in the tank and I still love to jump in the kitchen. I still love to pull some shifts because I need it. They don't need me, you know, my team physically. 
Like, you know, we still, we'll still go in. I'll, I'll still go to the, the farmers and check on grain. We'll still go to the mills and make sure, work with our, our farmers and millers to make sure that things are optimum. And I'll still, you know, have my hands in things every day. But I think, how do we do it? I think for the people that are in my uh, age bracket, I guess, or, or been in, 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 in the, the business for a number of years, how do we transition? You know, I mean, we watch, you know, one day, uh, you know, you, you get drafted by the Yankees and you, you throw 100 miles an hour and all of a sudden you're, you're 35 and you're throwing 94 and, and you're 40 and all of a sudden you're saying, fuck, I got to be a third base coach, you know, <laughs> or, or I got to buy the team or I got to become a broadcaster, but I'm not that, you know, my, my belly in the, in the tight baseball seats looking ridiculous, you know, so I think it's, it's a very, you know, it's an important conversation. <laughs> for people to have with, their, with yourself. I know I had, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, the little health scare I had, which was, uh, I had asthma for a long time, and you know, just, uh, just exasperated by, uh, like a baker's lung, just by, you know, never wearing a mask, you know, always being the, uh, just in it. And, and um, um, it, it was, uh, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for that experience to be able to look at like what else do I have to give to our industry other than to make sure that I can you know that you know probably my favorite thing is still shaping you know though if I did anything else just that kind of cadence that we get and just my eyes closed and just doing it and, and even uh, uh, you know today when I look you know inside an oven and I see that just that fire rolling across the dome it's incredibly comforting it allows, it allows me to kind of check out for a little bit and check in and, and, and I think, um, uh, but I think using that uh, and finding, I can, still, I can still go there, I can still go to that place, but how do, we, how, do we, how do we help our industry? How do we make things better than we found them? And I think one of the things that I, that I hope to achieve is, is, is uh, kind of like when I said, you know, you tried the rest, you tried the best. Well, what if we can, together, we can make a pantry that our kids and their kids can be really proud of. We can find labels with transparency and provenance of place. We can start to, I make my own fresh pasta, we make our own bread, but if we go down to the deli and, you know, it's a bag of, you know, semolinas on their fluorescent light for two years, you're better off getting the, the you know, the, art, the pasta shoots or the dry pasta that was made optimum from one of the great producers um, uh, around the world. So Thank you so much, Chris, for your heartfelt presentation at Pizza Expo. Discover more about Chris and Pizzeria Bianco by going to pizzeriabianco.com. He has a wonderful book called Bianco, Pizza, Pasta, and Other Food I Like. And you can also check out Bianco Di Napoli Organic Whole Peeled and Crushed Tomatoes. I'll put links below this video. If you're interested in the pizza business, I can't say enough about attending Pizza Expo. For more information, go to pizzaexpo.com. And while you're here, if you could show a little pizza love and subscribe, pizza on earth, goodwill to all.